Good morning, folks. We've got earthquakes and climate science to discuss today. We've got quiet active regions on the Earth-facing half of the sun. We'll start there with little C-class solar flares, calm solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth. We did have several filaments attempt to dance around, especially near the south polar crown, but none produced significant eruptive activity. There are several more filaments at the mid and lower heliographic latitudes, and we'll have our eyes on those and the sunspots today. We're off to seismicity where at least 50 people were injured in the six-pointer that struck Turkey yesterday, largest one in several months in that region. Also had a six-pointer off the coast of Baja, widely felt, but thankfully little in the way of injuries or damage reported. Folks, here's the global climate report for October, the one they spread around the internet, and then here is the real one. The whitewash is absent, revealing the blue colder zones. They do this every month. They show the qualitative concoction to the public, and here's the real one. And again, in the east, we see a whitewashed public map and then the real one. They do this with the quote near average color in white. Problem is they take anything slightly below average and make it white, but if it's slightly above average at all, they burn it red. It's an intentional lie they do every month to hide the blue and make everything seem super hot. They are clowns. I know many of you have seen something like this list of how everywhere is warming faster than everywhere else. Seriously, about every two to three years, nearly every location in the world is claimed to be warming faster than the global average, which is, of course, impossible. It's been highlighted several times, so I had to laugh again last night when I saw this. Of course it is. Everywhere is warming faster than everywhere. Their recipe for misinformation. By the way, on our Twitter last night, which you should be following, we ran down the best reasons why climate science is a complete nonsensical sham. We didn't even get into the TSI debacle, mostly because it takes more than a tweet to explain that one. Anyway, follow us at Space Weather News at Sun Weather Man. Link is below the video, along with our books, playlists, and a link to get a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Topic is your choice. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.